Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. Welcome to another video. I'd like to thank those of you who follow me here, who watch my videos, do so because you want open debate, you want to arrive at your own conclusions, and above all else, you want to live in reality. And on that note, I have the last two years to thank for becoming completely red-pilled. What do I mean by this? What does red-pilled mean? Well, the term red-pilled, as far as I'm aware, first arose from the movie The Matrix, that fantastic 1999 movie, I believe that was the year it was released, starring Keanu Reeves, where he faced a choice of either taking a red pill, or I think it was a green pill. And if he took the red pill, his eyes would be open to the ways of the world and he would see reality. And of course, Keanu took the red pill, and the rest is history. So why do I say that I've been completely red-pilled over the last couple of years, and I actually thank the last two years for that? Well, I'm somebody who even pre a couple of years ago thought I was quite wise to the ways of the world. I've traveled all over the world to many different countries on different continents. I've worked in different countries. I've experienced lots of different cultures, and I thought that I was quite wise to the workings of the world. But gosh, the last couple of years has been such an eye-opener, and I really think that my eyes have been completely open to the true workings of the world. Because of course, we've been dealing with a certain situation, but actually so many different factors have also combined during the last couple of years. Agendas to do with power, to do with control, nothing to do with the immediate situation at hand. Politics has come into this, We've had financial conflicts of interest, I'm sad to say, conflicts of interest which have pervaded all different layers of society, from the top right down to the very bottom, and healthcare, sadly, is not spared. And of course, we've had the underlying human psychology involved, at both a macro and a micro level. Human beings are not, by nature, logical animals. That's simply not what we are and never have been. We are much more guided, or more of us are more guided by emotions rather than logic. That's the truth. I'm not saying it's good or bad, but that is the reality of dealing with any situation. And this is nothing new whatsoever. Anybody who reads history knows that history repeats itself. These same patterns, these same historical situations, keep on arising again and again. All that changes is the circumstances, the external circumstances. And now, of course, we live in a modern technological age. Maybe that's a game changer. And we have other factors involved, like a mass media, a corporate-owned media, that can easily shout out messages which can influence people much, much more. Follow the money. That is the most true term since the beginning of time. Anyone who denies that does not understand human nature. And the last couple of years has been no different. And again, sadly, I would say healthcare is no different to anywhere else. Now, I'm not saying that this applies to the hero doctors, nurses, other professionals at the front line, but often many people who are at the front line with good agendas, and I'm actually saying this in all fields, not just healthcare, don't realize the different forces at play behind them and can be manipulated. Often, if you want to know what's really going on, simply follow the money. And of course, that combines with power and control. Money, power, and control are all intrinsically linked together. Now, many people might say, well, what are you talking about? You're a conspiracy theorist. Fine, you are entitled to your own point of view. I do not think I'm a conspiracy theorist. I am, in terms of my own philosophy, a huge proponent of Stoicism. A lot of you already know this, that ancient Greco-Roman philosophy, those ancient Greco-Roman Stoics were absolute geniuses. When you read what they have written, it is absolutely timeless. Human beings and societies will always behave in a certain way. We cannot change that. The most we can do is try to open our eyes to what's really going on, to remain calm, logical, rational. And of course, we can call things out, but the only thing that we truly have control of is our own reactions to situations. So whether my views here put me at odds with the medical establishment, I really don't mind at all. I will always speak my truth, because I do believe that everything we've seen all across the world can simply be explained by the fact that a number of different agendas have all collided together at the same time. And I also don't mind at all if people like me are the exact people that modern mainstream culture dislikes and, yes, also hates. 
people who ask questions, people who want to raise issues, people who want to think logically. That is the last thing that modern mainstream media wants. But I am okay with that. I would far rather be like me than be like them. The last couple of years then have really opened my eyes. Coming back to the main topic, I feel like I've been completely red-pilled to the true workings of the world. But I'm actually happy in a way that that has happened. I don't think there's any going back once you really want to ask the right questions and you see what's going on. Thank you everybody for listening. Do let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Do you have any other thoughts? Dr. Sunil Dan, do hit the subscribe button down below for more similar videos. If you like this video, want more similar videos in the future. And I hope as well you all get a chance to follow me on my uncensored platform. That link is down below where we have more open, honest, interesting discussions in a less constrained, less censored environment. We have open debates as it should be. The link to my newsletter is also down below. We will talk again very soon.